Hello and welcome everyone to anubavtrainings.com. In this series of videos, we are learning end-to-end -end planning capabilities on SAP Analytics Cloud. In today's video, we will discuss about how to create value driver trees and what is the functional significance of them. So in a large corporation, whenever you would like to make a change on a particular account I mentioned, you would want to know the impact of that change on the entire organization. Taking a practical example, what if my labor cost increases by 10%? So that is going to impact my overall expenses. And in turn, finally, it is going to impact our profitability of the organization. All of these visually, if you wanted to experience, you can create value driver trees. Taking another example of your household budget. For example, there is an increase in the fuel prices for the petroleum products. Now that has an impact directly on your pockets. Next time when you're traveling to your office, an increased fuel price can cost you more on the fuel. As a result of that increases your overall monthly expenses. And hence, depending on your salary, you will be able to reduce down your savings. So all this impact analysis, if you would like to do, in a graphical way and allow your end users to also perform such functions to analyze the impact you can create value driver trees in sap analytics cloud so let me switch it over to the system so i've got here a planning model and also um, in this planning model i have got different data sets for different account measures what i would like to show you is how to create a value driver tree from scratch within your story and integrate that with the data set and also observe the impact of change. Okay, click on plus button and choose an option to add a value driver tree. I would like to create a new value driver tree from scratch from my data source. And then you can see value driver tree has been created. Maybe switch it over a little bit up to get my right background. And now over here, we can see this button to auto create the value driver tree from model. So what I've already done before the session is created a planning model with all the proper account dimensions. And now I would like to create a value driver tree automatically on my gross profit. So I would like to see how is the change in overall expense as well as my revenue impacts my gross profit. Click on OK. And you can see system has automatically generated the value driver tree for us. Now in this, you will see different dimensions will be visible. But before that, you have to, of course, select the time range. So I would like to analyze my data set only between 2018 to 20. Click on OK. And now we would be able to perform based on different measures our value driver tree calculation. So I'm interested to do calculation only on the gross profit so let me go ahead and choose gross profit and say okay and now all the dependent account dimensions which are influencing my gross profits will be loaded over here we also go back and choose a presentation variant date range which is again i'm choosing between 18 to 20 now, in order to analyze the data set, let's maximize our value driver tree because it's a pretty big one. And once you maximize, you'll be able to see the data set inside the data. So now you can see here, I have different account dimension being picked up, which is then summing up and unioning to the overall gross profit of my company. Now, there are different contributors in a positive and a negative way. As example, you can see the cost of good sales is contributing in a negative way and also the revenue is contributing in a positive way. So for example, I have 2020 revenue cost coming as 888 gross profit for 2020 year. Now suppose in 2020, my management anticipates that there will be a cost of labor which is going to get increased by 8%. So then how it is going to impact my profitability, of course, the cost of labor is going to impact your profitability in a negative way. So in the planning, you can always go back and increase the cost by, let's say, 10%. And watch out here, 2020 current gross profit is 888 million. If I increase the cost by 10%, click on OK. Of course, 10% uh, is of zero is zero only. 
I would first uh, put some reference. Maybe I'll give a reference as 1 million. And now on top of this 1 million, I'm going to add an increment of let's say 200 percent. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and add it or you can also choose this nice slider here to increment a value by some percentage. So let's say I'm going to increase it by 30 percent. Now as a result of that, when I click on OK, you will see here this 887, which is my gross profit is going to reduce by accordingly. Click on OK and you can see the total labor cost has been increased by uh, 30 uh, 30 to 1.30 and equally my gross profit has been reduced by 1.30 million accordingly so this is how any of these parameters you can influence in the entire value driver for example there is an additional retail return which is going to come about um, uh, 3 million so you can just click on 3 and plus ok you would see your your revenue is now increased by 3 million in the overall gross profit so this is the way in a graphical manner you will be able to analyze and build your value driver tree which is very intuitive and also very interactive for the business to get an analysis of in case something changes in the business how it's going to impact your overall business and all the dependent measures accordingly so i hope you got a good idea about value driver tree thanks for watching this video and i will see you in the next session